I thought I can get away with talking about this, but since you asked, I'm gonna tell you because I love ya. It all started when I reconnected with a man. Shocker. So basically this is the morning after I had a date with a guy who I hadn't seen in two years. So we had just had a date and I realized like, ooh, like I may have a crush on him. I'm stressing the out. I'm like, oh my God, no, I have a crush on this guy. And I'm stressing about that. And then I'm stressing the fact that I'm stressing. And then also this was like my third night of getting no sleep. Cause I was like, I've been going out a lot. So basically where I left off was waking up and getting a text from crush being like, hey, you know, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, my best friend is in town for her graduation. He's like, all right, let's go out to the club where I have investment in. And I'm like, okay, okay, daddy, whatever you say. <laughs> whatever daddy says. Um, yeah. So I'm out celebrating with my best friend and a few other of my friends and her friends. And we're all like together at dinner. And then it all starts going to And I'm like, oh. Why tonight? Why tonight? I'm drinking my wine. I'm like, let me get a little buzz going. So I'm not gonna be nervous, you know? So basically my best friend starts getting up. Like she starts getting blacked out drunk. She has no boundaries when she's sober. When she's drunk, all bets are off. She's a menace. And my friends don't know how to react to her because she's like throwing out jokes out there that are just like, that would normally land, but because she's super drunk, she's just like throwing it out there and like, they don't get it. So they're just like, oh, oh. <laughs> they're like, she hates you. I'm like, no, the whole thing is such a mess. Like my, it's not a vibe. They're not, no one is um, vibing at that table. To be honest, the way she's describing it, it's, it does sound like so awkward that night. I hate that. I feel like this is the thing I think when you're in a group of girls, there's always some sort of chaos, I think, that ensues. And um, yeah, that sounds pretty chaotic. The way she's described it, I, I can kind of feel the awkwardness through, through her just literally talking about it. So the night gets progressively worse. We go to the next place. My best friend pisses off all the bouncers because you know, she's that girl. So she gets in anywhere she wants, like anywhere she wants, period. But when she's drunk, she gets aggressive and they don't like that. So obviously we're not getting in. And around this time, my friends start leaving one by one. Her friends start leaving one by one because they're getting annoyed. And so I'm like, oh, great. So now I'm stuck with best friend Herday, who's a fucking wallflower, who's literally the biggest bitch I've ever met. He's, he's literally just standing there, not saying anything. And like, why are you here? So anyways, my day comes and I'm like, hey. <laughs> and then my friend starts doing this thing that she does where she gets like, super aggressive and like gets in people's faces and that's like her way of flirting. <laughs> He's literally inches away from my crush's face. Like yelling in his face and like all close and like mm. Literally she would have made out with him right there and then. Like I finally have a crush on a guy like why are you doing this to me? I am just like how do I handle the situation because she's still my best friend like I don't want to be like pulling, pulling her off him. Like obviously my friend comes first but like she's out of line. Like she, she is a menace and being completely crazy and i don't know what to do in the situation because the guy doesn't know me well like i don't know what the f to do i think it's like more awkward because she's bought this guy there like they've just kind of started dating it's quite fresh and i feel like that's just not a nice situation for him to be in when she said like you know a date showed up i thought oh like if the night's already going badly i think that would just give you that would make you so nervous, I think, if the night was going bad and then they showed up. But I mean, the plan was that he was gonna show up, so it's kind of, it's, it's tough, it's awkward. I think with the best friend doing that, I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't know how to handle a situation like that either. So, let's see what happens. This would also be a great time for my best friend's date, instead of like staring like, so eventually I'm just like, hey, can you stop? Can you like maybe go over there? And you know, it was obviously the right thing to do, but I feel 
really uncomfortable. Like I get in my head about it. Yeah. Like I am not feeling the night anymore. Like I'm really bothered. I'm annoyed. I'm angry. I'm pissed off. I start just shutting down. I'm like, this sucks, you know? So the next stop is his place. Um, <laughs> my best friend does not want to go home. She is on one. She just will not stop. She will not stop. So she starts like spilling wine everywhere at his place. Crush is like, you know, running after her, cleaning up, being really, really, really sweet and nice. And I'm just like, oh my God, like why? I like you even more now, like stop. <laughs> so like, I'm like, hey, can you and me just go to the club? Because this is not, this is not working. Like, like she needs to go home. And he's like, starts getting really, really nervous about it. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, I actually, I have to work the door for a little bit. It's gonna take me like 20, 30 minutes. I don't wanna leave you alone. And I'm like, oh no, I guess they have to come. <laughs> yeah, so I end up having to bring best friend Banshee and Wallflower Day to that club. And Banshee, best friend, starts getting more fucked up. And I'm like, I'm like oh my God, she's literally gonna start a fight. I need to, we need to go. So we end up leaving the club and then I see my crush like doing the guest list and like talking to these two girls and like he's doing his job, but I'm still just like, like just getting jealous and not feeling also, I'm just already in a bad mood and annoyed. So I'm just ultra, ultra sensitive, you know? So I end up just not even saying bye to him, just like getting pissed and then heading in my lift, like, ready to call it a night and he texts me right away he's like i'm so so sorry like i'm always done with the guest list are you having fun are you inside i'm like i left he's like i'm so sorry can i like see you asap i'm like oh. and guys when i tell you like i don't know what was going on in that moment like i just felt this pull to him it was so weird it was almost like every fiber in my being was telling me i shouldn't have left the club I don't know what it was and I shouldn't have left him. It was really, really weird. And then all of a sudden he stops texting. And the next text I get from him, he's in the hospital and it's a photo of him and a wristband, like hospital wristband. Oh my God, when I tell you this gets even worse, like much worse, like, what happened? Did he end up like getting beaten up or something? Or it did sound good. And it's kind of interesting to me that she said she felt this like pull, like she shouldn't have left. That's wild. That story was just going from like, it started off and I was thinking, oh, like some juicy stuff's gonna happen, but I didn't expect it to end with her crush ending up in the hospital. I mean, thank goodness, like her friend didn't end up kissing him because that would have been super awkward. I had a feeling that she was gonna actually say that they ended up kissing that would have been like, oh no. Oh, but um, I don't know. I feel like you just, you, there's that girl in the group, isn't there, that just sort of goes crazy when they go out. It's just, just how it is. I mean, it does sound like when she kept saying, oh, she kept getting like more and more like drunk or whatever. I was thinking, how could she possibly get more drunk? But clearly she could. I'm just glad it didn't end too badly, really. Mm, it ended pretty badly if her crush was in the hospital. Hopefully he was okay. I'm, I wanna know what happened.